So here we've got uh, a plastic model of the lower limb and we're just looking at the peripheral nerves that we can see on it for now. What we can see here we have uh, at the end, the proximal end, where we've got the hip, here we've got salus major and iliacus and in between them we have here the femoral nerve. So the femoral nerve comes out of the lateral side of salus major. You'll find it on the specimens just here. Now it passes under deep to the inguinal ligament so we can see it here in the femoral triangle, but it splits just here into 10 or 12 branches. So we can't see it after that. So the only places we can see the femoral nerve really are here and here. On the specimens that we have at the moment, it's more clearly visible here above, superior to the inguinal ligament there. So that's the femoral nerve there and there. Now then, on a medial point of view, now we can see in the pelvis itself, here we've got a nerve that runs into a little hole in this muscle, which is the obturator internus. So this nerve here is the obturator nerve. If we just zoom in a little, you'll see it more clearly. So there's the obturator nerve in yellow. The artery running with it is the obturator artery. You can see them both going into a little gap here in the obturator internus muscle belly. So that's the obturator nerve. It's only small, but because of its location, it's fairly easy to identify. Now then if we turn the model over and have a look at a posterior point of view, gluteus maximus has already been removed. So we can see gluteus medius and then piriformis here. Emerging just distal to piriformis, then we have the sciatic nerve, which is huge. On the specimens, it will be even larger than this it's quite a large structure, very hard to miss. So that's the sciatic nerve. Notice that it splits. Uh, it's running along the posterior surface of uh, adductor magnus, so deep to the hamstrings, which have already been removed from this model. But notice that before we get to the popliteal fossa here at the, the posterior aspect of the knee, that it splits. And it splits into a tibial nerve, which runs straight down the back of the knee and the leg, and a common fibular nerve, which is smaller and heads laterally out towards the fibula. So common fibula will be smaller and lateral. Tibial will be larger and kind of right in the midline there of the, of the thigh and then also the leg. Now the tibial nerve carries on and runs down the back of the leg in the posterior compartment it's deep to gastrocnemius and soleus, which have been removed from this model. And you can see it running along the surface here of tibialis posterior. And then, of course, it runs in between your flexor digitorum longus and flexor hallucis longus. So if you're running, looking at the tendons here, running from the medial malleolus laterally, remember we can go tibialis posterior, flexor digitorum longus, and then flexor hallucis longus or we can say Tom, Dick and Harry. And then we can say Tom, Dick and very, very naughty Harry. And remember the A stands for the artery that's here and the N for naughty stands for the nerve. And very, very, of course, is a couple of veins which are not on this model. So that nerve, the nerve that's part of Tom, Dick and very, very naughty Harry is the tibial nerve. Now the tibial nerve later splits, but we'll have a look at what it splits into in a sec on a different model. What we can, what uh, the other thing we can do with this model though, is turn over and have a look now from a, a lateral point of view. And here, we, uh, we left the common fibular nerve where it disappeared here into the muscles of the lateral compartment. So deep to these muscles, uh, well here we're looking at fibularis longus. So deep inside fibularis longus, the common fibular nerve splits into superficial and deep fibular nerves. And here we have the superficial fibula nerve emerging from between fibularis longus and brevis. So there's part of it we can see. That's the superficial fibula nerve there. And if we then look deep within the anterior compartment, we will find that there's a deep fibula nerve in there as well. And there you can see it there. It's very deep. It's running along the interosseous membrane, then along the tibia. So that's the deep fibula nerve. It's in the anterior compartment. Now, if we look at the dorsal surface of the foot, we can see branches here and here of the superficial fibular nerve. 
And then running along here, we can see the deep fibular nerve in between metatarsals 1 and 2. So that again is deep fibular nerve here and here. So that's the last we'll see of the fibular nerves there. But what the other structures that we can see that are worth having a look at are, of course, the branches of the um, tibial nerve. And here we're looking at the plantar surface of the foot. So if we follow the tibial nerve, and again, gastrocnemius and soleus and the calcaneal tendon have been removed from here. If we follow the tibial nerve down to the foot, we can see that it splits just here. And it splits into one branch that runs laterally and another one that remains medial. So we've got a medial plantar nerve just here before it splits into a, a couple of branches. And then we've got a lateral plantar nerve running ac across the quadratus plantae here. And then it will split into a few branches over this way. So lateral plantar nerve is qu quite a bit longer and easier to pin. But the medial plantar nerve would just be this little bit here before it splits. So those are the two nerves on the plantar surface of the foot. But also on this model, again, we can see a couple of branches here on the anterior surface of the leg and in the dorsal surface of the foot, a couple of branches there of the superficial fibular nerve. And then we can see the deep fibular nerve here. And then again here. And lastly here before it splits into a couple of digital branches there. So that, that's the nerves of the lower limb.